One of the questions I get asked most often when I tell people about the new company, Tiege Hanley, is what's with the name? So today we're going to answer that question, tell you where the name Tiege Hanley comes from, and talk about the importance of a name in today's vlog. Big number 14 in the Tiege Hanley starting a business, building a brand vlog that you're watching right now. Tiege Hanley. It's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? It's, at first when you see it, you're like, what the... And then you say it a few times, Tiege Hanley. Say it again, Tiege Hanley. It actually kind of flows off the tongue. Well, the way that we actually came up with the name was Kelly, one of the founders, um, was over at his dad's house. His dad's like 87 years old or 85, I don't remember. That's insignificant. He pulls a book out. He's like, yeah, this was a family heirloom. And it, was been, it has been, this book has been passed down generation to generation to generation. This book has been in Kelly's family since the 1500s. It's like 11 generations, maybe even more. Anyway, he opens it up and in the cover is a name, Tiege Hanley. Kelly goes, who's Tiege Hanley? His dad's like, one of our relatives. Kelly's like, really? He's on the tree, as in the family tree? Grandfather's like, yeah. Nobody exactly knows who he is, but the name just resonated with Kelly. He thought it was such a cool name. And I have to agree, there's something very mystic mystical, mystical, <laughs> not a unicorn, <laughs> but maybe he was. Um, the name was cool. Kelly liked it and he couldn't get it out of his head. And so that's ultimately what we decided to name the company, Tiege Hanley, after one of Kelly's relatives. And so today I'd like to talk a bit about naming your business if you're an entrepreneur, because for me, this was the first time that I've ever been involved or started a business where I didn't get to choose the name. And naming of a business for me is just something that is so much fun. That's like the super fun part about starting a business. Everything else after you name it is a lot of work. But picking a name is a lot of times incredibly important. Other times, not quite as important. So here's the deal. Naming a business, like I said, is the fun part. Uh, choosing what you're going to name it is, is something to not take lightly. You really need to give your business name some thought. There are a lot of things that go into deciding what a good name is going to be. Now, do you have a product that you need to explain in the name what that product is. Great example is Bala powder, all right? I do a lot of reviews about um, testicle powders, right? Because I'm kind of into them and, and damn it, my balls, I like to have them smelling fresh. <laughs> anyway, Bala powder. In the name, you think Bala powder. It sort of says what it is, and so it works. Um, you know, but other times, like a Warby Parker, you guys are familiar with the people that make, make glasses and sell glasses. When I first heard the name Warby Parker, I'm like, what the, sort of like Tiege Hanley. It doesn't exactly say what the company is, but it's something that you remember. It's catchy. And a lot of times, like Uber, right? Another great example. What is an Uber? When I first heard about Uber, I'm like, what, the, that name is so stupid. But you remember it, you think, and then you associate it with what they actually do. And so a lot of times, if you're going to name something, the other aspect is your tagline that you need to consider. Is your tagline going to also explain what it is? So it's like, Tiege Hanley, no idea what Tiege Hanley is, but our tagline, uncomplicated skincare for men, lays it out so you know exactly what it is. Another thing that you need to consider when choosing a name is what is your URL or website going to be, your domain name? Because it's getting tougher to find great domain names. A lot of times people, here's a great example, right? Somebody, I, I screwed up <laughs> so bad when I was, when I created Alpha M. The original name for my business was Alpha M Image Consulting. And so, of course, I thought, hey, I need a URL that explains what it is. So I bought Alpha M Image Consulting instead of just plain old Alpha M.com. That has since been bought. And um, I'll, I'll <laughs> tell you a story. Actually, I'll tell you now. 
All right, so AlphaM.com was bought by a guy named Alpha Mumba something. He's an Indian gentleman, lives in Texas. So I try and buy this domain. I find that it's him, I call him. This is after the fact that I was trying, actually when I was trying to do IamAlphaM.com, I was like, eh, I just want to buy AlphaM.com. So I contacted him and said, hey, would you sell me your domain? His wife answered and just immediately, how much? And I said, $5,000. And she goes, okay, I'll let you know. And I never heard back. Now it's too late. They can come to me and want to sell it, and I probably wouldn't do it. But I felt that it was valuable enough. One issue that you're going to find, if you go on to like a GoDaddy, which is a place where you can buy domain names, and you can search, you can see what's available, what's not available. Sometimes they're available, but somebody owns it and will sell it to you at a premium price. Tige.com, right? Great. It's short. It's amazing. Perfect. It's available? No. Somebody owned it. And so when Kelly contacted them, they wanted $30,000 for their domain. Their domain. Domain. I feel like I said that weird. And Kelly's like, pound sand, brother. $30,000. You're insane. They ultimately ended up settling on $3,000. So Kelly bought Tige.com for three grand. And you know, for us, the domain, keep it short, keep it simple, and, and we're so excited that we were able to actually get that one. But your domain is, uh, is something to consider and always be thinking about. And so when, before you choose your name, you may want to go to a place like GoDaddy and do some searches. Is it available? Is it not? Does somebody own it? Can you buy it? Or can you think of something else that is sort of correlated or tagline-esque that you can actually have your domain? And so, you know, domains are getting fewer and tougher to get. All the short little ones are pretty much bought up and squatted on or being used. Uh, but you can get creative, add numbers, add characters. Um, but like I said, before you decide 100% steadfast on that name, you might want to do yourself a favor and see if the URL is available. Most businesses, you do need a tagline in order to explain it. Uh, but the, the hope is that if you penetrate a market and you name something, people will associate your name of your business or your brand or your product with whatever it is. And just getting out there, getting yourself in front of enough people and letting them know, you know, Teach Hanley, Teach Hanley, skincare, skincare, skincare. Eventually, people will just associate it with skincare. The best skincare, the best prices, because I've been using that stuff for a few weeks now, and I feel I look more radiant. It's seriously incredible. Um, little update, the chemist is still working on the formulations for the products that weren't 100% perfect. Packaging has been decided on, and you know who decided it? You, thank you. Um, I'm not gonna reveal what it was, what the winning package looks like just yet. We will very soon. Uh, really excited about that, because it looks sick. Um, website, cranking along, Corin uh, from Squirrel Lab is doing an amazing job. We're working through some issues and we should have an iteration of the website coming up really soon. Um, other than that, man, we are just, legal is taken care of, our contracts, everything, our agreements are signed, sealed, and delivered. So we are locked and loaded into a partnership agreement now, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm even every day that goes by, I get more excited because we get that much, just what, we get closer, we get closer to the launch. We're still gearing up for spring. Um, May? <laughs> there, there are just a lot of things that need to happen to, to be ready. But, you know, we're, we're moving forward and we're pressing forward and we're having a lot of fun doing it. Um, next video, what I thought we would do is because you guys are incredible and the questions that you're, you're asking below the videos are amazing. I thought that I would actually do a question and answer video next time. Vlog 15 is going to be your questions and we're going to answer them and I had a lot of fun doing that and you've got some incredible questions. Um, and so, yeah, make sure to comment if you've got one and we will do these throughout the, the series of, of the Teach Handley Starting Business Building a Brand vlog because 
you know, it's as much about you and the reason I'm doing this is not just to talk about Tish Hanley, but it's to help educate you and catch you guys up to speed on some of the lessons that I've learned, that Kelly have learned, that Rob has learned along the way. Give you a resource for starting a business. Um, so if you've got a question, if you're, whatever, it doesn't matter, please ask it because I, I'd be happy. Nothing is off limits. And so spill it. <laughs> <laughs> ask. There is no stupid question. And if you're not signed up to the mailing list, go over to tiege.com, that sweet URL <laughs> that we bought for three grand, and uh, make sure to sign up. We are still needing your input. We're still needing your advice. Um, it is invaluable. You are absolutely, hands down, crazy important to the process of us creating this business, creating this brand, and developing these products. The last thing that you guys did, boom, crushed it with the packaging selection. And like I said, I'll reveal that soon. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not. I appreciate it. You guys all rock. And Tiege is going to kick so much ass, I can't even stand it.